Name a celebrity who has a big mouth and is not afraid to use it. Country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drama 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over. Hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, well, well. You know my motto. I don't make believe. I make believe us family. I'm your gracious host, Drummer 1980, hailing from the Carolinas. Columbia, South Carolina to be exact, if you're looking for me. I hope you had a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why you didn't have a good day. And remember this. Happiness is an inside job. Did you hear me? I said happiness is an inside job and it will always be an internal affair with guys. Shout out to the daily wrap up crew. This reaction is very eye opening guys. Take notes, get your pen and pad out and shout out to Jew as well because he's home and safe. Let's go guys. You know what it takes for no. like me to go out on a date? I got to get a babysitter for my kids. Okay. Should a nigga if pay for that? Yes. Because that's what now. For I the kids that saying. you made prior yes, to me, guess what? Now, a part of me is my kids, and in order to take me out, you're making an investment for a relationship, so, and that's why. And, and, and I shouldn't have to pay for your trying to, when you invest. I'm in not your saying company. every day. I'm saying okay. no, no date. Uh, unless no. we're in a relationship, that's when you can even feel like I should be adding on. I should be paying. I wouldn't even stuff like that. A man but, that's for me, in no. my opinion. Yeah. They know that, okay, she's a mother of two. She's holding down a business. She's holding down a house. She's commuting from Jersey to New York. All right. How much is your babysitter? What? Family, we in the twilight zone, guys. I'm glad that I'm off the market. Woo. Which, and I didn't really have problems like most guys anyway. But still, this entitlement, this delusion is at an all-time high. This far exceeding. Anything that I have heard so far as far as dating. So it's my responsibility to pay for another man's kids just because I'm dating you. Now, granted, if we was in a relationship and then we talked about the ramifications and the package deal and the kids come along with you, that's one thing. But we haven't even got to that point yet. We are merely talk about dating. Everything else is inconsequential at that point. I don't want to talk about no kids up on no first, second, or third date. No, 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 no. Okay, you have kids. That's all that I need to know so far. Now, when things progress, okay, then we can start getting into the details. And then later on, then we can start getting into the financial aspect of the thing. But not whenever I first meet you. No, I ain't paying for no. Mm -mm. Guys, and this is what I say. If you date a single mother, she better be a phenomenal woman. I'm talking about something extraterrestrial, something that you can't live without. Because trust me, guys, I have encountered a few single baby mothers as well in my time. And none of them made the cut because it's always the same. My baby needs something. Okay, so what is the baby daddy doing? Oh, my wow. God. He a deadbeat. Okay, so why did you choose to lay down with a deadbeat, sweet? He tricked me. Okay, so how did he trick you? <laughs> why are you asking me all of these questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. 
you wasn't tricked. You was partaking and having a good old time, riding the roller coaster up and down and shimmying and dropping down and get your ego, all that stuff you was doing. But now, when it's time to take responsibility, it's his fault. No, we're not going to let you do that. Nah. See, over here on this side, I'm fair. I take up for the women when it's warranted, and I speak for the men. I'm the vanguard when it's warranted. But at no time will I sit here and just defend a man and he's just doing wrong. Now, we don't do that. I, that's not one of these channels, all right? I'm balanced. You understand? See, some people ain't balanced. No matter what the man does, he's in the right. You should have followed. No, 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 no. I wouldn't tell a woman that to follow a man down a dead end. No, I'm not telling no woman that. I'm going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell my daughter whenever she become of age. Did you hear me? The same thing I'm telling you is the very thing that I'm instilling into my daughter when she become of age. Matter of fact, I'm doing it now. And she's three. I'm talking to her. I'm showing her. Don't be loud. Don't be brash. Don't be unruly. You don't dance everywhere. Have some matters. Quit screaming. I'm a teacher. You don't put on skimpy clothes because that's going to attract a certain type of predator. Oh, God, did I just say predator? You heard what I just said. Don't talk so much. Don't let obscenities fly out your mouth. Because we living in the real world. I'm not talking about stars. I'm not talking about all this. I'm talking about everyday common folks. Any man that earns a decent living. Okay? You're not going to qualify for anything but the same old, same old thing you've been getting. I'm trying to tell you what men look for. Most men, not every single one of them, but most of them. We talk to the masses. We talk to the majority over here. Okay? Understand it. Well, I know one. Shut up. I'm talking to the mass, the general population. This is what most men look for. You should take wise counsel and take heed because it would do you well in the end. The men that I know will look at this woman here and call her a fool. Because the men I know are upstanding righteous brothers. Make a good wage, a good living for themselves. Not broke. Make a good wage. Living good. Money in the bank. Carry themselves well. You understand? Very articulate brothers. Intelligent brothers. We look at this woman. Say, this woman is off her rocker. She have the nerve to fix her mouth and say, paying for a babysitter, guys. Is that not something that sound like the X-Files or something? Man, that, that's, that don't even sound real. And you wonder why she's singing with two kids. Start there. You didn't learn from the first one? Hmm. Guys, tell me what y'all think. Which one of y'all would be willing to step right on up and to date this woman and to pay her babysitter and all of that. And she, well, I got a business and I got a home. And I, well, congratulations. It's called being an adult. You taking care of yourself. Okay. That's good. Kudos to you. But that's nothing special. See, everybody wants points for just being average. Okay. That's nothing special. Now, whenever that you standing head and shoulders above the rest, maybe then we can throw some praises on to you then. Might be like, well, you know what? You are doing your thing. Shout out. But no, you don't get no points for just being the average regular smegler Joe. No, 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 no. Head and shoulders above the rest. A standout, if you understand that. An outlier. Huh? A happenstance. A unicorn. Shall I go on? All right, then. But guys, tell me what y'all think. Put it in the comment section. Shout out to the Daily Wrap-Up crew. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.